I got three words for you. Sonic Lost World. What a title. First released in Nintendo Wii U and 3DS back in 2013, it received pretty mixed reviews. More so of the negative ones, I actually saw many fans annoyed how they strayed away from the original formula, especially after the success of Sonic Generations just prior. So luckily for me, I finally got to try this game out after nearly 7 years, and this is all thanks to Steam being on sale during the autumn sale event for merely $7.49. Honestly, I could not pass up on this offer, and I have actually have been curious about this game for many years. I finally gave it a whiff, and after beating the title, I can conclude it's just as good as eating a double cheeseburger combo. But before I begin explaining, I just want to express that only a few percentage of my subscribers are actually watching my videos, so if you do end up enjoying this one, consider subscribing. It's totally free and you can always unsubscribe when you feel like it. Anyways, enjoy the video. So as stated, Sonic Lost World to me is like enjoying a nice double cheeseburger combo. However, I ain't talking about some random one that you totally get at your local McDonald's, or dare I say, Burger King. I'm talking about something peculiar, something so specific that nobody really actually talks about. That double Krabby Patty with sea cheese. Just kidding. I'm actually talking about Sonic's cheeseburgers, because duh, it's in the name. Anyways, from the information I've gathered, Sonic seems to be very popular for their milkshakes, corn dogs, and pretty much any other fun snack you can think of at your local carnival. So with this given information, I can pretty much deduce that these burgers seem to fall under the radar, especially their supersonic double cheeseburger combo that either comes with fries or tots with a drink of your choice. Personally, I go with the cherry limeade, but you can get whatever you want, I don't care. Not only is this combo like a similar price as the game that I purchased, but both of them are actually pretty comparable. Don't worry, I'll explain it a little bit. So first things first, let's talk about Sonic Lost World's presentation. Now one of the reasons why this game gave me a good first impression is because of how colorful and vibrant everything looks. The game overall gives off a really nice cartoony vibe, which is very fitting for the Sonic universe. Sometimes I actually question the team's decision in mixing realism with these cartoony vibes, and the end product usually just looks awful. The cartoony atmosphere is very consistent, matching with the wacky yet unique animations that this game presents to your face. And while this is all good, I feel like this approach can also make the game look a bit generic, almost as if this one is trying to imitate something else. Hmm, now that I think about it, there's grass, beach, sand, snow, sky... I'm not gonna assume things, but it kind of reminds me of this, which is, you know, not a really big deal, I like those games, so yeah. Unfortunately, many other fans disagree with this, and they hate the generic looking style. Just like how some people may think this Sonic Double Cheeseburger is bland. But to be fair, it kinda is when you look at it. I mean, it has your generic bun, meat, and other stuff, which pretty much reeks of third party looks. But hey, I'm telling you, there's more to this game than just the presentation. As I was playing through Lost World, I actually never thought it was a bad game. As a matter of fact, I had a blast playing it, and one of the biggest reasons for that is because I was actually a big fan of the gameplay and controls. Nani? Somebody likes the gameplay and controls in Lost World? Yes, yes I do. Sit down and let me explain. You rat. As I was saying, sure many fans love the boost games or the original style of gameplay, which is cool, I mean, you do you. I'm just saying that I do not mind the slower Sonic, or a discounted Donkey Kong minecart, or a less floatier but slightly faster Kirby. It felt nice seeing Sonic for once not being treated like a car getting ready to crash a wall or something. Yes, I know it is kinda weird to hold down the shoulder button to run, but I mean, you kinda get used to it when you have the patience. And thanks to the slower gameplay, I found myself for the very first time actually looking around my surroundings. And now, I understand that you can pretty much do the same thing with the boost games, but I think the main difference here is, there's more creative freedom in how you actually want to do it, especially when you start to implement the new flying kick move and fully understand the parkour mechanic that this game throws at you. So for example, like in Frozen Factory Zone 1 I believe, you could parkour and jump in this narrow path instead of going the normal way, which I actually never knew it was a thing. Even though this lasted for a few seconds, the idea of exploring is so satisfying. And all the satisfaction can easily translate to taking your first few bites of that supersonic double cheeseburger. And you know what? It's honestly nice and refreshing because its taste is unlike the other popular burger joints that you're probably used to such as In-N-Out, Carl's Jr., Shake Shack, Five Guys, not to mention the big ones, Wendy's and McDonald's. Though I will admit it's not particularly juicy, but it does give off very distinctive flavors, almost as if it could not be replicated at all. 
and that's pretty much where I'm going with this analogy. The game is not overly delicious, but it definitely has enough flavor to the point where the burger still tastes like what a good burger should taste. Yeah, it may not be the best product, but whenever your taste buds revisit this experience, you'll always remember the words, Sonic Lost World. However, after several hours of playing, the game did start to lose its flavor. You see, the game is cool at first since it introduces all these new moves and cylindrical themes, but man, did I just feel like many of the level designs were just reused. Another example is here at Tropical Coast Act 1. I feel like I've seen this part already, just this time with barrels. Don't get me wrong, not all levels are like that, thank goodness, but I think the ratio definitely should have been more balanced. In addition, I wish the bosses were a bit more challenging, they're honestly a breeze to defeat, and some of them are pretty easy to cheese. Nonetheless, that's just how it'd be when you eat your double cheeseburger. It's a unique experience at first, but as you continue biting through, you start to feel numb to the taste, almost entirely losing its pizzazz. The more you spend with it, it also gets pretty cold, but ultimately, you shouldn't care. Eat it all the way through. A burger is a burger, and as long as the taste doesn't get worse like Sonic Forces, <laughs> then it's leagues ahead. But yeah, while I beat the game recently, I don't think I'm completely satisfied just yet. I'm heavily considering replaying it again real soon, just to speedrun it. I've seen so many speedrunners play the game, and it looks so different when you're incorporating spin dashes through your parkour, double jumping at correct times, or whatever this is. So whenever I'm ready, I may just tackle the tots with them jalapenos just to spice things up to the Sonic Lost World experience. Overall, the story isn't anything special to talk about, but the unique gameplay mechanics and superb presentation was honestly enough for me to keep on playing. And with that, Sonic Lost World receives an overall score of 7 out of 10 Cheems Burgers. The levels could have been designed more thoroughly and the bosses could have been harder, but like I said, the gameplay was enough for me to earn it respect, and I ultimately think that this game is severely underrated and doesn't deserve all the hate. Thank you all for watching this unorthodox gaming review, leave a like if you enjoyed, comment if it made you hungry, and subscribe for more Mario and other things Nintendo related too. Peace out my duders.